Hey everybody! I am just getting ready to go down to Nirvana 101. I got a last minute phone call today to go down and demo some of my skills. So I thought, what the hell, why not? Just a couple hours and gets me out and, you know, in front of people, which I absolutely love to do. Um, lately, I've been kind of rolling around in my brain some of the, um, some of the ways in which I can break down concepts for you guys. So out there right now are a lot of ideas about awareness and uh, raising consciousness. Here's what I understand it to be from a biological standpoint, right? If you come to see me, you know that I start with the physical body first, right? We always start with the physical body adjustment and there is a reason why I do that. I'm going to talk about the reticular activating system in the brain and what that means for your health and happiness and how that corresponds to consciousness or awareness, okay? So the reticular activating system is one of the most important parts of our brain that has great influence over our cognition, okay? So this is awareness, that's what cognition means. The system is considered the brain's attention center. It's the key for switching on your brain and also considered as the main center of motivation. The reticular activating system is connected to the spinal cord at its base from where it accepts information which comes from the ascending sensory tracts directly. It travels up to the midbrain and while going up forms a complex neuron collection that acts as a convergence uh, convergence point for signals from the interior environment as well as the external surroundings. So, reticular activating system is a place where your thoughts, internal feelings, and outside influences converge. Think about it like this. I'm going to give you guys a really easy example. You wake up in the morning and you put your underwear on. Okay? At first, you really feel it because at that moment, it's new to your body. Within a few moments, however, you don't notice it anymore. Why? My favorite question. Your reticular activating system has adapted to the sensation on your body. You've got better things to be aware of, so it essentially raises the bar. So you start down here, but it raises the bar so that you forget about it. The same happens when you experience a symptom and you decide to ignore it. The same also happens when you have an issue in your life and you choose not to address it. Both of these indicators, or both of these are indicators of stress in your world, and both will have an adverse effect on your physical body. When choosing what to be cognizant about, your brain's reticular activating system has to lower the bar once again, and you now have to learn to retrain your cognition, or your awareness, or your consciousness. So it's safe to say that anyone and everyone is always conscious it's true way to level the playing field right the question is what are you choosing to be conscious of to make better choices I think it starts there and it's not easy when we choose to be conscious of certain things and deal with them um, we certainly become more sensitive to the issue, but your health and happiness are worth it, right? Be good to yourselves. Sharing this with one of my consorts, and she asked if I would share some of the ways in which we could you know, develop a self checklist um, to learn how to get out of our own way and deal with the uh, the stuff that's going on in our lives, both with our physical body and with the issues that we tend to face in our daily routine. And I think it's a wonderful idea. I will come at you later this week with some of those. Bye.